Hello everybody, welcome to a new um, election prediction video today, and here I just want to start with some news that has been circulating around lately. Um, first off, Al Franken has resigned his spot as senator based on sexual assault um, and sexual misconduct, you know, uh, everything thrown against him lately. Um, so Al Franken has resigned, um, in the next couple of weeks he will you know, take that into effect and no longer be a senator from the state of Minnesota. Um, so today in this video, that's basically all the news I wanted to say, but today in this video I'm going to be doing Senator Sanders versus Donald Trump. I first want to apologize if my voice sounds a little bit weird. I've been sick lately, like, um, sick enough to stay home from school, so sorry if I sound pretty bad, but I'm getting better, so hopefully I'll get better soon. Um, so the first thing I want to do is start over here on the West Coast, and uh, Senator Sanders, I guarantee, is not going to run in 2020, but if he did, he would probably win the Democratic nomination in an upset. Um, since he got pretty close last time, but Hillary Clinton edged him out, of course, there's, you know, all this stuff about the DNC helping Hillary Clinton and, you know, all that sort of stuff. But if he were to run, he would probably win the Democratic nomination and head into the general election. Um winning, of course, the West Coast. I'm just going to give him both of these in Colorado because of his view on marijuana. I'm just going to give him Minnesota. I'm going to give him Virginia. Fill these in real quick. Let me see, what am I missing? New York. Okay, boom. Okay, so now for the Republicans. Okay, so here we are. Democrats start out with a clear advantage, 226 to 150, as they usually do in these predictions. Democrats start out with an advantage. All the states that I have selected for Sanders to be safely in his column went to Hillary Clinton, too. Um, let me see. Yeah, all of them that I selected to be safe in Sanders' column went to Hillary Clinton, too. So... Let's just go over some of the some of the uh, battleground states that also went to Clinton, like the state of Nevada. I think that one would go solidly for Bernie Sanders. I, I think if it went to Hillary Clinton, it'd probably go to Senator Sanders as well. Um, uh, yeah, that's it. It's pretty sad. Um, okay, so now let's start down here in... Um, well, first, I want to say that if, if at all, Bernie Sanders were to win this election, which he won't even run, so it would be because of this area up here, just like the reason that Donald Trump won the election. Because of right here, Hillary Clinton needed this area down here to win the presidency. But I think that Bernie Sanders is going to do a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff in this area of the country and that's going to be huge for future elections um and i think it'll be important to um important to see what that does um but first let's start down down here bernie sanders is going to make a big change of stuff um 
down in the southwest of the United States. For starters, I think that Arizona would lean to him. Seriously. Um, considering what Hillary Clinton did to this, and Bernie Sanders being a much likable, less, you know, uh, less establishment, I think that uh, less establishment than both candidates, to be completely honest with you, because Donald Trump is totally selling into the establishment Republicans, and um, so I think that Donald or that Bernie Sanders would lean the state of Arizona. I think Donald Trump would. By about ten points, take the state of Missouri. I think uh, he that he would lean Iowa as well, and I think that he would also lean this congressional district in the state of Nebraska. Uh, as for the Rust Belt, Bernie Sanders is going to take this back easier than any candidate in the Democratic Party could. Um. Well, I'll, I'm going to come back to Michigan, actually, or Wisconsin, actually. But he would certainly take back Michigan by about 10 points. He would certainly take back Pennsylvania by about 10 points. I'm confident that the state of Ohio would go to him. Because of the young vote, I think North Carolina would lean to him. I just don't see him picking up Georgia in this election. Um, but I do see him picking up the state of Florida, leaning it towards him. Uh, in the state of Wisconsin... It's very, very conservative here now that Donald Trump won, but I think that this one would also lean back to the Democrats just because of Bernie Sanders' popularity and, you know, such like that. Up here in this district, I think this would lean to Senator Sanders. Um, as for the state of Texas, I think this would lean to the Republicans. 2024, this will be just as much of a battleground state as Ohio. But as for 2016 and 2020, this is pretty solidly Republican state. But I think this would, well, for 2020, I'd say this would go to Donald Trump for about five points or so. So uh, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like. Suggest what you would do different to this map and why you would do it instead of just um, insulting me on my predictions. That'd be great. Um, comment what you want to see. I'll be doing more election night soon, and thank you so much for watching.